guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I've been a makeup artist now for what seems like a long time since I started out really, really young. And the one question that I get asked all the time, especially during the summer months, which we are gearing up for summer, is how do I keep my makeup from not melting off my face? And guys, I have a perfect formula. So if you guys wanna see my tips and tricks on keeping your full face on all day long, then keep on watching. Okay, the first thing that you always wanna do when you're starting out your makeup, if you have a big event, you're going to a festival, you're gonna be in the heat, you're going to the beach, is you need to prime your face. So I personally like going in with a moisturizing primer. So as you guys know, and if you watch on my channel, you know that I am obsessed with the Smashbox Primizer. And the reason why I am layering primers is because I really wanna give my skin moisture and hydration. And that's what's really gonna lock in your foundation and all the products on your face so it doesn't look cakey. But one of the primers that I've recently been using that has been like kicking it, killing it, working, lasting, is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This primer, I can describe it as like a sticky texture. Like it doesn't feel amazing on my skin, but I feel like it's really, really doing the job in ensuring that my makeup is lasting. It almost feels like glue. That's how I would describe it, but it works. So if you want your makeup to stay on, check this puppy out. Okay, of course, a million dollar question. How do I keep my foundation on all day long? And that really, really goes down to your prep, which is your primer, your setting spray, and of course, your foundation. I have a variety of different foundations that I know work for me. I love certain foundations. My Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick foundations look fantastic, but I will say they are something that in the heat isn't gonna do well because it's a cream product. So some products that I know work for some things, but not for other things. So I like sticking to foundations that are more mattifying and more full coverage. And the more mattifying foundation will last better in heat. So I personally like using either my Estee Lauder Double Wear or my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And these two foundations are pretty matte and they really lock in and they don't like melt throughout the day. So these two right here are probably my go-to for like heat festivals, summer, meeting to stay all day long foundations. So I'm actually going to mix these two on my face because I finally have a tan. Okay, the amazing thing, well, the not amazing thing about laser. The amazing thing is you don't have hair, which is amazing. But the not amazing thing is you have to wait so long to get a tan or to do spray tan. So I just got laser like two days ago. So I know I'm not gonna see her for five weeks. So I'm like, yes, I can finally put some fake fake on. It's great. I feel like a new woman. Got up, was ready to film today, you know? Okay. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face with a brush and then we're gonna sink it into the skin with a beauty sponge. The reason I like using a brush when I am applying foundations like this is because I feel like a brush really works it into the skin so it's not just sitting on the top layer. So it just lasts that much longer and the beauty sponge just like further presses it into the skin. And then I'm just going to use my beauty sponge to just press this in even further. You don't want anything like laying on the surface. You want it all just locked into your skin so it looks nice and seamless. Okay, next up we are gonna go into concealer. So concealer again is gonna play a humongous part in your makeup lasting because your makeup lasting is really due to your face products and then whatever you put on top is staying in place because you have a good base. So if you lock down your foundation, your primer, and your concealer, you're gonna be set. So my go-to is my Tarte Shape Tape. I love this because it's really nice, full coverage. It doesn't break up throughout the day. If you're sweating, it stays in place. It's just a really, really great concealer. So I'm just gonna put this in the usual spot. So of course you have landed on my video, so you probably have watched makeup tutorials before and you may have seen people do this concealer technique. And if you're not fluent in makeup, you might be like, why is she putting it on her forehead? Does she have pimples on her forehead? Does she have pimples on her chin? But the reason why you're putting it on down the bridge of your nose, your forehead and your chin is because you are highlighting 
a feature. So when we contour later on, that's going to be a little bit more three-dimensional. So it's gonna really help the contour take effect as well. So I do this so that we're bringing those features forward. And then when we contour, we are bringing those features back. So before this dries, I'm just going to buff this out with my beauty sponge. This is a Morphe beauty sponge and I like it because it has this really cool flat edge. And personally, I like using a beauty sponge for concealer. And if you don't have a beauty sponge, the warmth of your fingers will help the makeup set. Okay, next up we are going to contour. This is something that is so important that a lot of people are afraid of. It's not that we're necessarily contouring, but we are setting a cream product and then a powder. And that is the two-step process to make something last. So, no, I'm not really doing anything too crazy. I'm using a shade that's kind of like a bronzer shade. So it's not really that I'm contouring, but when you use cream and then you use powder, that's how you get something to stay in place all day long. Powder usually kind of flies away throughout the day. Cream, if you just use cream, it's really nice and pigmented, but the two together, is the game changer. So you don't have to do anything too crazy. Any cream, or sorry, any pa any cream product will work. And we're just going to blend this out. And you can see that this blends out really, really easily. That's why I love this product. Been using it for years. I've gone through a zillion million. So as you can see, this side to this side. Can you see? I don't even know. Um, this side's a lot more snatched. Okay, we've used cream products, now we wanna set them with powder. It's kind of like you're painting, and when the paint isn't dry, it can smudge, it can get messed up. So you're pretty much putting like a powder on place of the cream to lock it in place so that it's kind of like drying it and mattifying it and locking it in. Yeah, it's crazy, makeup, craziness. So I'm just gonna go into the first two shades and we're just literally gonna go on top of the cream that we just laid down. So I kind of just like to do a three shape and follow like the hollows of my face. I always bring it down here just so everything has a really Nice blend. Okay, we're gonna move on to blush. And I get that this is a lot of steps, but these are the steps that I would take if I am purposely wanting my makeup to stay in place if I'm like in the desert or on the beach. I might not necessarily do these steps every day because it is time consuming, but I know it works. So again, we're gonna go into a cream product and Really, whenever you use a cream product, that's what's putting that real nice pigment in place. So this is the Makeup Forever Cream Blushes, and I'm just gonna put this on the very apples of my cheeks. So I'm just gonna smile. So again, whenever you use cream, you wanna set it with a powder, and that's what just locks in the product. So now I'm gonna go into my NARS Orgasm Blush, and I'm just gonna hit my cheeks on top of the cream product that we laid down. Okay, next up I'm going to set underneath my eyes. I keep saying this, it's gonna be very repetitive, but since we used a cream concealer, you don't wanna get those little tiny creases throughout the day, which is because the cream is just creasing with your natural um, wrinkles. So you wanna lay down a shadow or a powder. So we're just gonna look up. And I'm just blending out all of the concealer under my eyes before I go in and set it. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about brows. So I have used a million, trillion, gillion, million brow products, and some of them look absolutely phenomenal, but then when you go into the heat or if you're like on the beach or you're in the ocean and you look at yourself and you're like, where did half my brow go? So that's a problem. So when picking out a brow product, I recommend picking something that's really waxy and is almost hard to apply. You know when you use some brow products and they're so creamy, which are fantastic in the winter months and they just go on so easy, they're so... Oh, they're selling my eyeball. As I was saying, some products are super creamy, super easy to apply. They're great in the winter months, but in the summer months, those are the products that are just gonna melt right off your face. And usually it's products that are like pomades or gels. And then you test out a few products um, 
usually they're brow pencils that are almost hard to apply and it's those products that you want to use when you want your makeup to last because we might not use these products all the time but it's the product that i would go to because when it's hard to apply that means that it has like an emollient wax in it and it's not going to move around on you because it's like more durable so some of the brow pencils that i know have that really great wax grip would be the Pure Cosmetics Arch Nemesis Brow Pencil, the Burberry Effortless Brow Definer, or the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Um, so I'm going to use the Pure one. The Pure one honestly has the most of that grip that I've used. Um, ColourPop, I absolutely love, love, love ColourPop, but that's an example of a product that is super, super easy and creamy to apply, which I love, but it also, comes off a lot easier because it's so creamy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows super quickly. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Um, so I'm just going to do them. Okay, so once you have done your brows, you wanna lock them in place, and the best way to do so is using a brow gel. My personal ride or die favorite would be the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This stuff is like glue. So on top of using a product that is waxy, is not gonna move around on you, using a gel is gonna lock it in place, so literally it is going to stay all day long. Okay, we're gonna jump to the eyes. I'm not gonna do anything too fancy because usually when you're at the beach or you're in the desert, who's in the desert, I don't know. If you're at a festival or you're at a wedding, you probably don't have anything too crazy going on your eyes. So I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, but I am gonna show you my little tips and tricks. Again, I keep saying it, we are going to use a cream product and then a powder. So I'm gonna go in just with my concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And the reason why cream and then powder just works is because you're locking in a formula. It's like a two-step formula that locks in the product. Powder doesn't have anything to like grip to. And cream alone is great, but it moves around. So the two together is like an unstoppable duo. So I'm just gonna put this all over my eyelid to prime my eyes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use my contour palette and I'm just gonna set it with that bone shade just to lock that in place before we do any eyeshadow. Okay, for my eyes, I'm literally not gonna be doing anything too fancy. Um, I'm just gonna go into a really nice bone, actually, I'm not gonna go into a bone shade, I'm gonna go into a brown shade. Um, this is Canyon from my Beach Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette. And I'm just gonna pop that right into the crease of my eye just to give it a bit of definition. And then I'm gonna pick up the pink shade Sandstone from this palette and I'm just gonna layer right on top to give it a little bit more warmth. I'm kind of dragging that down a touch. Okay, now I'm just going to pick up a foiled shade from this palette and with my finger, I'm just going to I also do have eyelash extensions on, and personally, I think these are great if you want your makeup to stay on. When you wear strip lashes, half of the time they come off when you're sweating, when you're crying. Um, so eyelash extensions just ensures that they're going to like stay in place and stay perfect all day long. So if you're really going for it, I would invest in some of these puppies right here. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be highlighting my face. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighter. I love it because it has a really nice pearl tone and especially because I'm not super tan right now it just works with my skin so I'm gonna show you a little tip when I need everything to stay in place lock and load so I'm gonna go into my the makeup finishing spray and I'm going to spray this all over my face before I apply my highlighter don't be afraid with this stuff guys the more the better so as you can see my face is damp right now but that's what we want because we want all of our products to have something to adhere to so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to highlight the usual areas but now it's gonna have like a grip and something to lock it in place
Okay, we're gonna go on top of that now to lock it in place even further so all of the makeup is locked in, not gonna move, melted into the skin. That is why setting spray is so, so important. It's kind of like putting a protective barrier on your face. Okay, we are almost finished. Last but not least, I'm going to do my lips. I am going to tell you, this is the formula that I've been using for probably the last year, and literally, it does not move. I can put it on in the morning, and at 10 o'clock at night, I'm trying to like scrub it off my lips, and it looks so juicy and hydrated, and it's not like super dry, so this is what I do, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down for you. So the first thing that I always go into is a liquid lipstick. My personal favorite is Pop Beauty Times Meg's Pale Baby. It's like the perfect nude for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that really quickly. Okay, so we have our favorite liquid lipsticks on and I know a lot of people don't like using liquid lipsticks because they're super, super drying. I know, I hear ya. My lips are really dry right now, but don't worry, we are going to fix that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into a lip liner, and I know a lot of people are like, why do you do a lip liner after you apply your lipstick? It's because lip liquid lipsticks are so pigmented that if I were to do the liner first, you would never be able to even know because the liquid lipsticks are just going to overpower. So right now, my lips are dry, they're crazy, and I know a lot of people don't like wearing liquid lipsticks nowadays because we're like not into the matte look, but just keep on watching, just hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. So I am going to just align my lips to give them a little bit more definition. Already do you see like the bottom, how it just gives it that pelt? Okay, we are at the home stretch. So we have done our liquid lipstick and our lip liner. And now last but not least, you can go on with your favorite lipstick or lip gloss. So again, everything that we have done is a base and then a second layer. And layering really ensures the longevity of your product. And I know I keep repeating myself, but I kid you not, the one thing that I get from my clients is my makeup literally didn't move all night. And it's because I take the time to layer products and it works. So you can now go on with like your favorite lipstick or personally I'm gonna use a lip gloss because glosses are in and I like using glosses but if I were to just use a gloss, it would be off in like half an hour. So doing the base, pairing it with a gloss, it's actually crazy how long it lasts and stays glossy as well. So I'm gonna go on top of this with my Too Faced Polite Lips Lip Gloss. Alrighty guys, so here is the finished result. Let me know if you like this video and you learned some tips and tricks. I know this may be a little bit more long, a little bit longer than your normal makeup routine. It does take a few extra steps, but when you really lock in the products with your two-step cream and then powder, it literally ensures your makeup stays in place. And when I tell you stays in place, sometimes on the nights that I go out and drink a little too much and I wake up in the morning and I haven't washed my makeup off, I literally look perfect still. My makeup looks perfect. Not that I look perfect, but my makeup looks perfect, which is crazy. So I know this works. My clients know this works and it does work. So let me know what you thought. Let me know if you try out my tips and tricks. And remember to subscribe down below. Click the bell in the top right corner if you wanna be notified every single time I post because algorithm is a crazy thing these days. So if you like me and you like my channel, remember to click that little bell. Subscribe to my Instagram. Subscribe, I mean follow my Instagram at Beauty. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'll take care of you.